God, Jesus, bless this lesson in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right, I've got my book here, of my notebook, full of, uh, well, I got it full of stuff, but there's a couple of things I want to go over with you, those of you that are studying, actually studying. First, I want you to pause the video or whatever and go to JesusDoers.com. Look in the study section. Write down those realities. Write them down in your notebook, in your study book. Write them down. You might want to pause and go do that. Because I want to break it down. I want to ask you some questions. Okay? And I'm right here writing these down myself. But I want to ask you some questions about those. I want to make sure you know and understand them. And I want to ask you, can you describe your relationship with God by sincerely saying, God, I love you with all of my heart? Can you do that? Think about it. Can you do that? Can you say, God, I love you? No, no, not what you feel. Not just what you feel, but what you're doing. Do you really love him with your whole heart, y'all? Are you obeying the things God told you to do? I teach 2,333 people, y'all, and I can tell you right now, God put a ministry in my hands. And I'm at it all day, every day. I see with my eyes who the people I'm teaching, what you're doing and what some of what you're not doing very clearly. Can you say when you stand in front of God, because you're going to, that God, I love you with everything in my heart. Or are you going to stand in front of him with a half a heart? Because if there's any brokenness in there, y'all, let me tell you something. That's a, that's a full heart, right? If there's any brokenness in there, like, like just like, uh, I'll, I'll obey God and this and that and that, but that's about it. If there's any brokenness in there, I'm going to tell you something. You don't want to stand in front of God like that. That means you disobeyed him somewhere. That's what that brokenness means. You disobeyed him, y'all. We're talking about God. Do you know God? Do you know who God is, y'all? Do you really? Do you know? I want you to stop for a minute and think about. Pause your video and listen to yourself breathe. Listen to yourself breathe. Yeah, check your check your pulse. Put your fingers there and check that pulse. Tell me if you feel a pulse. Boom, 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 boom. You feel that? You know who gave you all that? God. God. Excuse me. God gave it to you. Who's the only one that gave you that? God. <laughs> Excuse me, I had an itch on my back. God did. Nobody else. And you know who gave you the ability to get back to God when you come out of the skin? Because you will. Jesus. Jesus did that. He took your sins on his back. You know what he gave for you? You know what he gave to you? His life. Do you understand what I'm saying? He gave his life. And I'm going to tell you something, y'all. His life means something. His life when he was walking this earth meant something. And he did it for you and for me. He took our sins on him. He didn't deserve that. He didn't do that. He didn't do anything to take your sins on him. He didn't deserve that. But he did it very willingly. So that you can choose him to go back to God for eternity. And a lot of people have problems doing what God said to do for him. They really do, y'all. So my question is, can you describe your relationship with God by sincerely saying, I love you, God, with all of my heart? Can you do that? Can you really do that? Are you honoring and obeying God in everything he said to do? In everything that you know to do? And in what you don't know, you're seeking and finding and looking for the other things he wants you to do? And you start doing? Are you doing? Do you really love him? Jesus said, if you love me, you will keep my commands. If you love me, you will obey me. There you go, y'all. Do you really love him? 
y'all. Pause your video and go to JesusDoers.com. Go copy down those seven realities. I got a list of questions here to ask each one of you. Everything, y'all, in your Christian life, everything uh, about knowing God and, and experiencing Him, all of it, everything you know about His will depends on the quality of your love relationship with Him. It depends on your love relationship with Him. You understand that? I know there's some stuff coming up that God said do that. I can tell you. Maybe two or three people will do it. It's a sad thing, y'all. It's a sad thing. You know what? God let me live to tell you. It's a sad thing. Love your God. All right, I'm going to ask you some questions here. I got them wrote down here, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write them down as I ask them so I can make sure I'm giving you all enough time to write them down yourself. Number one, blank is always at work around you. Blank is always at work around you. Go look on JesusDoers.com in, in the reality section, on the study section. Blank is always at work around you. Number two, God pursues a continuing blank with you that is real and blank. God continues, I mean, God pursues a continuing love blank with you that is real and blank. I already wrote mine now. Number three, God invites you to become blank with him in his blank. God invites you to become blank with him in his blank. Number four. God speaks by the blank, blank, through the Bible, blank, circumstances, and the blank to reveal himself. God speaks by the blank, blank through the Bible, blank, circumstances, and the blank to reveal himself, his blank, and his ways. God speaks by the blank, blank through the Bible, blank, circumstances, and the blank to reveal himself, his blank, and his ways. Number five, God's invitation for you to work with him will always lead you to a crisis of blank that requires blank and action. God's invitation for you to work with him will always lead you to a crisis of blank that requires blank and action. Number... Six, you must make major blank in your life to join God in what he's doing. You must make major blank in your life to join God in what he's doing. Okay. And number seven, you come to know God by blank as you blank <laughs> him and he accomplishes his work through you. You come to know God by blank, as you blank him, and he accomplishes his work through you. Okay? The answers are on JesusDoers.com. Click on the study tab and go fill those in and keep those written down in your study notebook, y'all. Keep those written down and remember that. And now as you start reading the Bible, start looking for those things. Okay, and uh, come to Google Meets. I can really lay the lessons out there for you. Much better than here on YouTube, okay? But I will do my best as I do for you guys on YouTube so that you guys can learn too from him. Not from no person, from him. Okay, but I want you to think about that. If you were standing before God right now, could you describe your, your love relationship with him by saying, I truly love you with all of my heart? Could you do that? 
as I explained to you in my earlier video, what joy is, what God told me joy is. I've never heard no person say some of the stuff God told me, y'all. But I'm going to tell it to you because that's why he let me live. He said, I'm going to teach it to you. You teach it to them. What is joy? Well, it, cer it certainly isn't an, 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 a, a feeling. It's not a feeling. It's happiness. What is joy? Joy, I'm going to write it down for you. What is joy? It is. It's your faith. Faith. It's a knowing. It's trusting. That's your joy. If you know God's word because you're studying it and you believe it and you're honoring and you're obeying, then you know every single word God said is for you. You know that. That's your joy. You cannot walk around this earth when you know God and not have any joy. That means you don't believe something he said in his word somewhere. But if you know everything God said is true and you know him as your Lord and Savior, you got that joy because you know his word is true and that he's a faithful and true God. That's your joy. That is joy. All right. So there you go. Thanks some of y'all for what you've done. Anything y'all needs in the description or JesusDoers.com. Okay. Thank y'all. Thank those of you who's doing your uh, Feast of Weeks first fruits here too. Thank you all so much. God bless you. If you don't know Jesus, ask him. Confess and ask him. That's just a half a heart though. Now you got to complete that heart and go get baptized in the water. Unless you cannot enter the kingdom of God, that is his word. Soaking it up, learning him, and starting to obey him. Live your life for him. Let Jesus live his life through you. He honors and obeys his God. All right. God bless you all. Thanks for coming and studying.